Sonia Delaunay was a remarkable avant-garde artist who brought innovative techniques not only to the art world, but also to the world of fashion. Sonia and her husband created Simultanism, or better known as Orphism. She created such vividly colored paintings and then eventually shifted her techniques into her textiles and fashion patterns of geometric shapes. Sonia was a pioneering colorist who created beautiful paintings and textiles that would still be considered modern by today's standards. She created an entire career of textiles. So how did she get there? What inspired her? We will take a look at a couple of her paintings, which were only a small part of her accomplishments, and see how she started and when she shifted into the fashion world. Here is an earlier piece titled New Jean, Yellow Nude, from 1908. This was earlier in her career before she married Robert Delaunay, and she was still using figurative subjects and displayed falvism techniques. This depicts a nude woman lying on her side, propped up on her elbow with her head in her hand. The face is almost mask-like and the gaze is averted, giving this a blunt feeling. The painting's provocative yet bleak feeling leads you to think about prostitution, which was common amongst paintings of the avant-garde period. This painting also shows her skills as a colorist. She used unrealistic bright jewel tones throughout. The juxtaposition of the warm yellow skin against the emerald colors are one of the most striking uses of tone and really set the style for her future work. In 1910, Sonia married her husband, Robert Delaunay, and their son was born a year later. During this time, she had stopped painting to focus on her family. When she was making a blanket for her son out of scraps, she became fascinated by the effects the different colors had when taken from their original form. Between her discoveries of the different placements of colors and Robert's fascination on color theory, they would develop Orphism together. Orphism was derived from Cubism, but brought more rhythm and movement of color. It was focused on the color that was not depicted within the monochromatic colors used in Cubism. By matching primary and secondary colors, they would create a new visual stimulation. The colors would look different depending on the surrounding colors, and with primary next to secondary, it would give the viewer a new, powerful visual. In 1913, Delaunay and her husband attended the Bal Boulier, which was a public dance hall of fellow avant-garde artists and writers who would dance and mingle. She had designed and made a dress titled Simultaneous Dress from scraps of fabric and had worn it to the dance hall. Along with her dynamic colors of dress, her husband Robert also wore vivid colors with his tailor-made suits and from that evening it would inspire her to create La Balle Boulier. The painting La Balle Boulier showcases Delaunay's interest in simultaneous color theory. This painting, at 12 feet long, was the largest of four versions and was her first work exploring color with her new theory. She captured the energy and motion of dancers in the hall from that night, but not with realistic precision or photographic reality, rather with her use of manipulation and placement of color, which was used without considering the subject matter and the expressive combinations of colors. She would create an experience of bright lights and dancing couples as she experimented with her new simultaneous color theory of orphism, which would dominate her career. When World War I began, the Delaunays moved to Spain, and in 1917, she had an opportunity to design costumes. She would continue to work with dancers and designing costumes until her return home to Paris in 1921. Upon her return home, she and her husband would become friends with Dadaists and Surrealist poets. She had taken on the belief of spontaneous creation and the combining of poetic activity for everyday life. Delaunay turned to creating costumes for theatrical productions, but by 1923, she had shifted her concentration on designs for everyday fashion and took on fewer theatrical projects. She felt that practical demands for fashion allowed for a better outlet for her imaginative designs and acted as a continuation of her costume work. She loved to incorporate bold colors and strong geometric shapes such as diamonds, triangles, and stripes, which was much different from the naturalistic popular designs of the 1920s. She would often use four colors in her designs, but sometimes more. Her techniques were always based on simultaneous combinations like fur and fabric, which added visual pleasure. 
The pieces she made were designed to conform to the female body rather than to resist it. Her art had now become wearable and was a statement for the modern creative woman. As you can see here in her painting titled Simultaneous Dress, Three Women, Forms, Colors from 1925, which depicts three mannequin figures, the left one wearing a dress with interlocking triangles, the middle with rectangular square shapes, and the right one with the black ruffled dress. Behind them is a trifold dressing screen with three different color schemes on each panel. The painting directly reflects her as a fashion designer. Her art intersects with fashion and showcases how they both inspire one another. Her focus was on her fashion design until the stock market crash of 1929, where she then focused only on textiles. She returned to painting again in the mid-1930s and continued to have a long art career until her death in 1979. Delaunay was an avant-garde artist who created Orphism with her husband and was able to introduce art into regular life, and I believe she was overlooked. She was living in her husband's shadow for most of her career, and it wasn't until the 1960s where she gained worldwide acclaim. She helped to bring color to the art world and dominated the modern fashion scene with her bright colors and bold patterns. Not so far from here, there's a very lively atmosphere. Everybody goes winter this year, and there's a reason. The season opened last July, ever since.